Hello my friends and welcome to another video. This one is gonna be in English because I got this request from my friends from uh, voxelowners.uk It's uh, like Opel Club Romania. And the request was to spot the main differences between a fake and an original Osram bulb. First of all, Vauxhall is the same as Opel, as you already know, is the same story with uh, Dacia and Renault, almost the same story. Most of Vauxhall and Opel cars from 2008 to present day have uh, this type of bulbs, Xenon, D1S, D2S, D3S, and they are double phased. The high beam and the low beam are on the same bulb. Here is the original one, bought from uh, the biggest Romanian vendor, it's not um, auto parts shop, it's the biggest Romanian online supermarket, let's call it like that, you know, it's called Emag, it's already bought from them, not from the marketplace, from another seller, and this is the fake one on the right side, this is bought a few years ago, um, from a local shop, that uh, says they are selling original parts also with uh, bill receipt and everything also with a fake warranty fake i mean warranty on the shop itself first of all we are going to start with the boxes to see the main differences of the boxes and i will explain you the designs see here you're going to see it says xenon here it doesn't say they also have the same design here there is no difference. This is a bit used because it's the box it's used. The most important differences are here on the, mm, the front of the box. As you can see, the bulb on the original one is smaller and on the fake one it's bigger to the base of the box. Also here it says Xenon. Here it doesn't say, doesn't say Xenon. Here it says original with a shinier look. Here it says original with a darker look, not shinier. The other differences are not important, as you can see, here there is a truck, here is not, here is a car, car uh, truck, but this doesn't matter, this is not important. On any side of the boxes, there is nothing of importance, except the front of the box and this part, this part, why this part? As you can see, the orange color here, it's up on the original one, and on the fake, it's down. It's upside down. As you can see on the original one, we have the text here, clearly stated here. Here it's big, it's different font from the others. And as you can see on the original one, it's have a shiny look. It's shining. And on the fake box, it's not really shiny. It's a bit different. The font, the font is not bolder on this like this one, the original one. So we are done with the box. Like I said, here it's a truck, here it's made in Germany. It's make no difference because it's just a new box. It's a design flow. I've seen original boxes with this design and fake boxes with this design. But here it says Xenon and here is a small bulb and here is shiny. Three key elements, Xenon, darker and bigger, uh, bigger draw of the bulb. Give me one second to retrieve the box. Now let's start with the differences on the bulbs themselves. On the left is the original, on the right is the fake one. Look here. Uh, this uh, etiquette, it's right here. This label is positioned correctly, equal sides. This one is a bit on the right side and more space left here on the left side. Here it says a C, and there is a bold, uh, bold line here. This line it's also have a bit yellow in there. It's not fully black. So these are two elements. First one, second one. Also on the fake one, you're gonna see the text. It's a bit smaller. This is bolder on the original. Also on the fake one, you're gonna see HG here. It's different. This is the original, this is the fake one. As you can see, there are no other differences. I try to look over for other differences outside the box. The pins are there. They look totally the same on the exterior. 
Now let's take a look on the bulb because I discovered from differences on the bulb itself. Uh, I'm not sure if this applies to all the other bulbs like D2S or D3S. Original fake. Let's take a look. As you can see, the original one have a bluish side here, like a blue side here on this uh, glass. And it's not so foggy here on the bulb. But the fake one, it's foggy on the bulb and there is no bluish side here on the glass. And as you can see, both of them, they are built the same. This one original is bluish, as you can see. This one fake is not like that. There is no other difference. No design flow here on the fake. It's the same. Maybe this is a bit bolder and oh, you can feel it. And this one is not really. Uh, when I finish installing the original one, I'll try to see if the fake one performs the same um, uh, outside. I'll go on night time, take a video on how this performs and how this performs. As you can see, the original, the fake. Okay, like a quick recap. The original one was... Uh, 240 Romanian lei, that's, I don't know, 50, maybe 50 euros. The fake one was 120 Romanian lei, one year, one year and a half, maybe two years ago. And now it's have like 150 lei, Romanian lei, the same price in euro. Like I said, key elements, xenon, missing xenon writing. Shiny part, not shiny, darker part. Uh, small drawing of the uh, bulb, bigger drawing of the bulb. I'm sure you're gonna say that the, this box is smaller, but it's not. It's just used and it's missing the lower part here. It's missing. Also, the other differences that are important, ignore everything else. Look at this label. Orange up, darker down. Orange down, darker up. Font. Look at the font of this one. Perfect writing, perfect integration, bigger font, low integration. And I've seen YouTube videos that are doing this wrong. When you spot a fake bulb, you will need a QR code scanner, okay? First, let's look at the, at the original one, okay? Let's scan this one of the original. See, it should says, focus please. I will open the link. It will ask me to do the capture code. It's see, it's gonna automatically take this code from the label. This is the original one. I'm gonna do the capture right here. Five V K F W. Check. Oh, I did the wrong capture. Sorry, it's really annoying. L N H six x let's check okay the original bulb d1s pps 66140 part code look at the code okay the code here 374877 374877 is the same code with the original also it should be the same code i don't know where to look here the box Oh, oh, no, 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 this is just to scan the code, and this is how to find the code. So, as you can see, the same code, okay? But, the funny part, it's with the fake bulb that people get fooled by, and I'm going to explain you how. As you can see, the fake bulb also have a QR code, also have a code right here on the bulb. The funny part, you are going to scan, let's open the scanner again. You are going to scan the fake bulb. Bang! It's gonna say the same the same code that is here. It's gonna be legit on the first glance. You open up that link. You go on the website of SRAM Trust Program. Let's introduce the capture. O V D E X. Let's check the capture. 
Oh, I did it wrong again. Oh my god, those arms stop testing us. M7, G, F, X. See? It's giving a code. It's DSS, no DSS PPI. It's same part code, but the surprise is here, guys. Look at here. This is an original part that was copied. So one bulb, original bulb was taken. This label was copied. This QR code too. This code, this is from a different bulb. From another lot, maybe from another country. And they are copying on, uh, this label on thousands. Thousands and thousands of bulbs and boxes. But the funny part is here. It's not the same code as you can see. There it says 236. Five six seven. On this one, it says five seven two zero eight six here. So this is how you truly spot a fake Osram. You're gonna be fooled at first glance. You're gonna be fooled by the nice packaging, the QR here. Pay attention to elements. Like I said, orange down instead of being upper here as the original. Also. When you're scanning this code, should give you this code here, like the original did. So uh, this was the video on how to spot a fake Osram from an original one. It's applying to all Osram products, the same method. It's also applying to D1S, D2S, D3S and everything else. Original vendor, auto parts vendor. This is like... Uh, Amazon, let's, let's call it like a Romanian Amazon, this is like a Romanian Autodoc. Price is different, 240 lei, 100 and maybe 150 lei. 100 lei difference, that's almost two, 20 euros difference on price. My friends, I hope you're gonna go right, uh, I mean if you have your box, if you keep your boxes for all the parts like I do, this is my disease, I keep all the <laughs> boxes. If you keep the boxes, you can check if your bulb is original. Uh, I didn't try this part, I wanted to... Okay, give me one second. I wanted to scan the QR code on the bulb itself. Let's see what it say. If you're scanning the same QR code of the bulb, it's going to give you this code, the part number. And it will give you the code from the yeah from the box ah so the, okay this is no method to check the bulb like i said oh uh, i mean yes it is a method to check the bulb as you can see see the code it's the part number uh the part with uh, 5416 it's here 5416437 as you can see and they added a 9 at the end of that and the fake one let's check the fake one yeah the fake one is doing the same this is just a local QR code this means nothing sorry to waste your time so this means nothing the original code must be scanned here so if you don't have the original box you cannot take it by granted if you just scan this code. It will give you these numbers here. Even the fake one have that one. Like I said, oh, thank you for your request. If you want, I can make this uh, a Romanian version. Take care when you're buying auto parts. Don't waste your money. If a part is, let's say, 25 euros and another one is 40, there is a reason for that price that's why it's increased it's you're not paying for the brand only and uh, like a quick tip if you are uh, going to do the osrams for your car well, keep in mind they have random burnouts like uh, you are using them for three months and they're going to instant burn for some reason gonna die just gonna die for no reason like my bulb did and i'm replacing with with this one this is not the one that I had on my car. I borrowed him from a friend to make this video. So uh, if you want to buy original parts, I suggest go Osram, go a local vendor, check the box before you accept the package. You can do that in three seconds when the courier arrives. Uh, but I suggest Osram uh, lifespan that is bigger. 
there is one with green packaging is the same bulb but with seven years lifespan this doesn't have four years lifespan maybe it's three years also don't get fooled by nightbreaker series they are not such a big deal they will just annoy other drivers and not giving you good visibility i suggest instead of osram to go if you are on a budget go with uh, philips if you want the same quality build quality and resistance you can go with philips if you are uh, pardon me if you are on low budget you can go with hella and magneti marelli magneti marelli is made in poland they have a factory there and uh, hella is made in romania timisoara and also in germany and china but with good standards hella is really good okay my friends that was all and uh, I hope you are not discovering you have fake bulbs after, after this video. I hope you all have original bulbs, but uh, I'm also gonna do a video on uh, glow plugs. Let me show you, because I have found something. One second. The next video is gonna be on NGK glow plugs, fakes versus original, okay? How to spot that one? Because these are premium, laser iridium, they are very uh, demanded everywhere okay my friends see you on the next video for my romanian everyday uh, <laughs> audience ciao și vă salut ne vedem în video următor